Hello. In this video, we are going to derive and prove several useful identities involving the commutator. We denote the commutator by putting the two operators involved. To the left we have here operator A and operator B to the right within brackets. And by definition, this is equal to AB minus BA. If A and B are said to commute, then the commutator AB minus BA will be identically equal to zero. Using the definition, now if we look at the commutator of B A, we have B times A minus A times B, and then we can use the properties of subtraction to write it as minus AB minus BA. We recognize this expression AB minus BA simply as the commutator of A and B, so we see that the commutator of B and A is minus the commutator of A and B. If we switch the position of the two operators, we flip the sign of the commutator. Next, we are interested in how an operator commutes with some integral power of the operator. So now we have a with a to the n power. By the definition of the commutator, this gives us a times a to the nth power minus a to the nth power times a. And now we can use the properties of exponents. For the first term, we get a to the n plus 1. The second, we have minus a to the n plus 1. So this is going to be identically 0. So therefore, we see that any operator commutes with the power of that operator. Next, we look at the case of the commutator of A with B plus C. So now we have three operators involved. Now, using the definition of the commutator, we get that this is equal to A times the quantity B plus C minus the quantity B plus C on A. Now we apply the distributive law to get AB plus AC for the first term minus BA minus CA, because we have to distribute the minus sign as well. So we get AB plus AC minus BA minus CA. Then we sort of collect terms here so we can rearrange what we have to so get AB minus BA, so that's the first and third term, plus AC minus CA, which is the second and fourth term. And now we recognize that for the first set of parentheses and the second, second set of parentheses, that we can write these as commutators. So this gives us our final result, that this commutator here is equal to the commutator of A and B plus the commutator of A and C. So now for this commutator A plus B C, using the definition we have A plus B on C minus C on A plus B. We can simplify using the distributive law. A plus B on C gives us AC plus BC. And then C distributed over A plus B gives us minus CA minus CB because we have the minus sign there. And again, we use our trick of combining terms AC and minus CA here, and then BC and minus CB for our second uh, term in parentheses, and now we recognize that we have a commutator and a commutator. So we get the result that the commutator of A plus B with C is the commutator of A and C plus the commutator of B with C. Next we look at the commutator of KA with B, where A and B are operators, but K is not an operator. It doesn't have the little carrot on top, the little hat to show that it is simply a constant. But we can formally apply our definition of a commutator to get that this is going to be KAB minus BKA. We have to be a little careful in this step. We realize that since K is some particular constant, the order that it multiplies the operators A and B is not important, so long as we don't change the order of the operators A and B, because we realize that the changing the order can uh, be a non-zero thing. 
So we can rewrite KAB as simply AKB and rewrite minus BKA as minus KBA. And the reason we do this is now we recognize that this is a uh, related commutator. This is now the commutator of A, comma, KB. So we realize that if we have a constant multiplying the first operator, we could shift it to multiplying the second operator without changing the value of the commutator. And now we're going to continue to get one more relationship with this same commutator pair. Starting again with our expression here, AKB minus KBA, I can realize that I can pull the constant in front of the A here because this is a number and not an operator. So that gives me the KAB minus KBA, still keeping equality here. And now we recognize that we have um, the following relationship. Let me show this explicitly here. We factor out a K, which I'm allowed to do because of it's simply a constant. So that gives me K times the quantity AB minus BA. We realize the quantity in the parentheses is simply the commutator of A and B. So we notice that this particular commutator and this particular commutator are both equal to K times the commutator of A and B. We are now going to finish this video with two derivations that involve the product of two operators. So for the first of those, we have the commutator of A with B times C. So notice it's not added. This is actually multiplication or operation on. Now, formally, this gives us A, B, C minus B, C, A. And now we can exploit the fact that operators uh, follow the associative law. So this gives us A, B, C minus B, C, A. And this doesn't look very promising because it doesn't seem that we can recognize any kind of commutator expression inside it. But now we're going to do um, a relatively subtle trick and realize that I can add zero to any value as the additive identity and I will not change the value of the expression. So first, let us simply add a zero to this expression here. So continuing, I simply write down what I had, and now the clever part is to derive an expression that is exactly equal to zero. And by a clever guess, let's use the expression BAC minus BAC. Clearly, BAC minus BAC is equal to zero. Now our trick is we're going to combine terms. And the terms that we're going to combine first is ABC minus BAC. So now we group these as ABC minus BAC. So that's the first and last terms. And then BAC minus BCA, the third and the second terms. Now we recognize that inside the parentheses, we actually have um, expressions where we can factor. Factoring, we can now get AB minus BA times C plus B times AC minus CA, where we're exploiting the fact that with operators, they will follow the distributive law. And now, as our final step, we recognize that the expressions inside the parentheses are recognizable commutators, which we can write down by inspection. That gives our final result that this particular commutator is equal to the commutator of A and B times the operator C plus the operator B times the commutator of A and C. Our final derivation involves the commutator of AB with C. Writing out formally, we get that the commutator is equal to the product of A and B times C minus C times the product of A and B. And then we can use the fact that operators follow the associative law. So we can simply remove the parentheses to get ABC minus CAB. As we saw previously, sometimes after our formal manipulations, we end up with an expression that doesn't seem to uh, be immediately helpful or to show obvious commutator expressions within it. So again, we're going to exploit the, tr the uh, trick that we used before and simply add zero, knowing that zero is the 
additive identity. It will not change the value of our expression to add zero to it. By good fortune, we can come up with an effective way of rewriting our zero here as ACB minus ACB. Now we are going to collect terms involving the four terms that we have in our expression. So now we collect terms, the first with the fourth term, so we get ABC minus ACB, and then the second and the third terms to give ACB minus CAB. Our next step will be simply to factor each of these two expressions. Factoring, we get A times BC minus CB plus AC minus CA times B. And we have to be extra careful when we're factoring, when we're using operators, because we have to make sure that we don't change the order of the operator. So we notice that we have A as a factor here on the far left-hand side, so we can pull it out to the far left. Over here, we have B as a factor on the right-hand side, so we can pull it out to the right. And finally, we recognize that the expressions inside the parentheses are recognizable commutators. And using the definition of the commutators, we get that A times the commutator of B with C plus the commutator of A with C times B. So that is our final derivation in this video. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Stay healthy, stay safe, have a good one.